Meta has just announced Llama V2, the largest ever open source language model by Meta. Though there have been several open source LLMs released since ChatGPT, what makes this one special is that it's available completely free for commercial use. Before we get into the model details, let's see what they mention as the key takeaways from the release of this new model. First and foremost is that it's free both for research and commercial use. They are now explicit that Meta has chosen Microsoft as the preferred partner for Llama 2. They also mention that with the help and support of a broad set of people, they are pushing for an open, innovative approach to AI technologies. So along with Llama 2, they have released a statement of support in their blog which lists people who support them in their open source approach. It includes people like Professor Trevor Darrell from Berkeley and people like Paul Graham from Y Combinator and Mark Anderson who is well known in the startup world and is one of the founders of Anderson Horowitz which is the prestigious venture capital firm. Let's look at the model details and get some initial impressions. The first obvious announcement from Llama V1 is that they have used 40% more data to train Llama V2 compared to Llama V1. And they have hit the 2 trillion mark when it comes to the number of tokens they have used. The context length also goes up from 2000 odds in version 1 to 4000 now. So the more the context length and the pre-training tokens, the better the model will be. In addition to the foundation model, they've also released a fine-tuned chat version called Llama V2 Chat that is fine-tuned for chat by supervised fine-tuning. They mention about human preferences here, which is the human label data gathered by using what is called reinforcement learning from human feedback or RLHF in short. The model training to arrive at both the foundation and chat versions of the model involves three stages. At the first stage, they create the foundation model, Llama 2, by pre-training on freely available online data. This model is then fine-tuned to become Llama 2 chat using supervised fine-tuning, which is a standard process of fine-tuning to obtain a specialized model. In this case, it's for chat. But what differentiates Llama 2 from Llama 1 is this human feedback element. They use reinforcement learning from human feedback and further fine tune with the human label data to arrive at a final chat model. This is very similar to how ChatGPT is trained. We have made a video about ChatGPT training and if you need further details about RLHF, please take a look at that video and come back to this one. In terms of architectural novelty, they introduce Group Query Attention or GQA, which was introduced in this paper titled Training Generalized Multi-Query Transformer Models from Multi-Head Checkpoints. To understand GQA, let's take a standard transformer with multi-headed self-attention. Typically, the number of query, key and value heads are equal in vanilla self-attention. Group query attention introduces grouping to these heads. It introduces a new parameter G for group size and groups the queries. In this example, the group size is 2 and so the queries are combined together to form a group of 2 and are treated as a single query. In Llama 2, they use this group query attention for large models and use the standard multi-head attention for small models. They show the results of training four models of varying sizes, namely 7 billion, 13 billion, 34 billion, and 70 billion parameters. 
Now, these are similar to the sizes of LLM models like Vicuna, Falcon or MPT. These plots are only encouraging as they never seem to show any sign of saturation, indicating that LLMs are real beasts and we haven't reached the full potential of these language models. They've also shown the amount of carbon emission for training these models. Though it's worrying at first to see so much emission for training one LLM, they've soon said that the emissions were 100% offset by Meta's sustainability program, which is really nice. Now moving on to evaluations, they have benchmarked LAMA2 against Falcon and Mosaic ML pre-trained transformer or MPT, both of which are quite recent open source LLMs with comparable performance to that of ChatGPT. They mainly group the results for evaluation into four categories, namely code, reasoning, world knowledge, and reading comprehension. Clearly, Llama 2 seems to be the winner against Llama 1 model. It also performs better than both Falcon and MPT. They've gone on to compare Llama 2 against closed source models like ChatGPT, GPT-4 and Palm. Now these results indicate that Llama 2 is quite close to ChatGPT in some cases and is not quite there to beat GPT-4 yet. There are even some tasks like natural questions where Palm model seems to be better than Llama 2. So I would safely conclude that GPT-4 is still the best model right now in the world if you don't care about the cost and just care about the results. With that note, let's move on to the demo of Llama 2. The demo app for Llama 2 chat model is available in llama2.ai site. Uh, let me start with setting the system message to you are a poet with a good sense of humor. Please assist me in writing a poem. And for the prompt, I'm going to give write a poem about open source machine learning models. So the response that I get is open source machine learning models. Oh, how grand. Their code is free for all to see and hand. No secrets hidden, no black boxes unseen. Just pure transparency, like a shining dream. That's pretty impressive. And let's see if we criticize a bit and say that uh, I'm not quite happy with the sense of humor. But you're pretty much getting a similar response uh, not tweak too much. But yeah, I will leave you to it and I've left a link for the demo app in the description of the video to play around for you. And the models are available also on replicate.com under the A16Z Infra account. Now there are two models namely Llama 13 billion and Llama 7 billion available in Replicate. It also has some example prompts to play around with and we can also tweak them to our needs and change the parameters as well. Let's run the same example prompt here and see what output we get. That just took 5 seconds and what's even more impressive is that there are already 119,000 runs of the model within a day of releasing this model. Wow! Let's move on to how we can download the model locally. So if we click on download on the home page, we are taken to a form to fill including the organization that you work for and agree to the terms and submit the form. Now once you submit, 
you get an email like this providing you with the custom URL you need to follow to download the models. The email directs us to a GitHub page and we need to clone the repo and run the download.sh file from the repo and the download file asks us the unique URL provided in the email and once we enter the URL we'll be asked to provide the options as to which models we want to download be it the 7 billion or the 12 billion or the 70 billion one so once we choose which model we want to download uh, we get the PT file corresponding to the model downloaded locally to our machine it's as simple as that so that was the initial overview of the model guys along with the demo I haven't yet gone through the entire paper especially the fine-tuning part to arrive at the llama chat model I will make a video about it once I read the rest of the paper till then I trust your patience on this and I will see you in my next take care bye